Namaste friends. So good morning to everyone. Friends, today I want to discuss paper 3 in main point of view in civil suit. We have a one topic, the concept is there. The concept is nothing but international relations. That is a very important chapter in paper 3 friends. This is also, this paper 3 also called as general studies sir. Paper 2. Okay now. So that we will discuss right now the concept. Of what is the, the relations? International relations and organizations. India with other nations relationship that we will discuss right now. The first and foremost was Myanmar, that is very important. Friends, so with Myanmar, India with Myanmar, very good relationship is going on right now. Very much developed as of now. Okay, so I will tell you one example. Friends, we are sharing border with Myanmar, isn't it? That is very important to run the good relationship with that country. So, not only that, especially Myanmar is also eagerly cooperate with India in security point of view and economic point of view and political point of view. So very much cooperate with India. So that much uh, relationship is going on between India and Myanmar. Very good relationship. That is why India is selling. India was India is eagerly uh, want to sell. The, uh, especially uh, what, what is called uh, submarines to Myanmar. As, at the same time, Myanmar is also want to buy the submarine from uh, India. That is a good relationship between. So later on we will discuss that one very lengthy way. And next, next organization is like the SORC nations. And what, what is the SORC, what is the relationship between SORC and India? What is the role, India's role in SORC nations? What is the SORC approbation? South Asian Association for Regional cooperation. That means it is a regional intergovernmental organizations. Intergovernmental organizations and geopolitical, geopolitical uh, union of states in uh, South Asia. That means these are the South Asian countries. These are the South Asian countries. These eight countries are there in uh, South nations. So that is uh, India, Sri Lanka, Maldives. So Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. So these are eight countries in the short nations. What is the role, India's role uh, in short nation? We will discuss later on, okay, na? topic by topic. Next organization is nothing but BIMSTEC. What is the BIMSTEC? What is the observation of BIMSTEC? And what is the relationship between India and BIMSTEC? BIMSTEC is nothing but so Bay of Bengal initiative for multi-sectoral technical and academic academic cooperation that is the BIMSTEC. Once again, I will repeat that one. So, BIMSTEC is nothing but a Bay of Bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and academic cooperation that is the BIMSTEC. That means so Bay of Bengal is there, right? Bay of Bengal. So, the bordering area for Bay of Bengal countries. So, even though that uh, Nepal and uh, and Bhutan is not part of Bay Bengal. But so these two countries are also integral part of this BIMSTEC. It is also intergovernmental organizations. Intergovernmental organizations. In security point of view, uh, political point of view, okay, defense point of view, and economic point of view. So they are in uh, the relationship between you know, these organizations. That is very important. Next to next organization. What is the next organization? SCO. SCO is nothing but Sangai Cooperation Organization. Sangai Cooperation Organization. Or else, or else it is called as Sangai Act. Sangai Act. Where it is the headquarter? Headquarter in Beijing in China. Sark headquarter that Kathmandu. Bimstek headquarter located at the Dhaka. Whereas SEO headquarter located at Beijing in China. So that is the SEO. What is the SEO? So Shanghai Cooperation, Cooperation Organizations are also called as Shanghai Pact. See friends, here uh, eight states, the states means here countries, eight countries are in the group in the SEO. So eight countries are in the uh, SEO. 
so it, it is also part of seo okay so what is the relationship india with seo so that we will discuss right now eight countries what are the eight countries in the seo so especially china russia kazakhstan tajikistan uzbekistan okay now uh, okay so kyrgyzstan india recently india and pakistan recently joined to that seo so pakistan okay these are the eight countries eight are countries that the same time two observer observer countries also there that is afghanistan and belarus these two countries are observer countries the remaining countries are members of in seo so that is the main thing headquarters uh, especially where beijing so what, what is the seo okay now so seo what purpose seo established because of in economic point of view and political point of view cooperate with the among these countries that is the uh, main thing it was the established okay next organization gcc gcc gulf coordination council that is the gcc see friends only uh, it is also inter governmental organizations inter governmental organizations in gulf area see there are six countries grouped group and formed in this formed as a gcc what are the eight countries women saudi arabia next one uh, uae united arab emirates next one qatar 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 okay uh, kuwait okay kuwait so like that so six countries are six countries okay see in a political point of view, economic point of view, they group it together and to form this organization so that is the this group and next one what is the relationship india with that gcc that is also very important okay next organizations what is the next organization uno so uno so we will discuss uno means united nations organizations that we will discuss right now very lengthy way so next class we will discuss that one and uh, so especially next mainly next organizations what is the asean capital a capital s capital e capital a n what is the organizations so association of southeast asian nations so there are 10 countries the group it together and form this associations so that means there are 10 countries are there that 10 countries are south eastern countries south eastern countries what are the 10 countries that is very important to okay the member states also very important to remember okay na so what are the states brunei indonesia malaysia singapore okay uh, cambodia thailand myanmar laos vietnam philippines these are the 10 countries and what is the india uh, role in the and what is the relations with asean countries that is very important very important point. it is also inter governmental organization friends remember okay na it is also inter governmental organizations in economic point of view education point of view security point of view military point of view and the socio economic point of socio culture cultural economic point of cultural point of view so the uh, very important okay so this are my answers and what is the relationship with the india with the that asian countries that is also very important okay uh, so this is the very important next organization so what is the next organization and what is the next uh, relationship so india with the australia what is the relationship india with the australia what is the relationship with the uh, india with the usa usa especially strategic partnership so india is running with the india is, uh, uh, i mean uh, this uh, relationship with the us is like a strategic partnership okay that is economic point of view trading point of view okay energy energy point of view okay got it my point so so that is strategic strategic partnership india with the usa and at the same time what is the relationship with the india with the 
Russia, what is the relationship with uh, India with UK and France, Japan and China, okay, Taiwan, or the Brazil, etc. That is the very important. Okay. So later on, uh, little bit topic by topic, we will discuss that next later on. Okay now. Next organization. Organization is nothing but the BRICS. Oh, so what are the BRICS countries? See friends, there are five major economic countries are there. Five major emerging national national uh, economies. So there are five major emerging national economies. What are the five countries? B means B means Brazil. R means Russia. Okay. I means India. C means China. So S means South Africa. So there are there are the five emerging countries in economic point of view. And what is the relations? India with the BRICS. That we will discuss later on. Okay, later on. Okay, now that is a very important. Okay, and uh, so these are the uh, international relations. And before I am ending this class, I want to discuss that, friends. And there are some countries, there are some organizations in which India is not a member. So, namely, we are not, India is not a member, you know, NSC. NSC means so, nuclear supplier group. India is not in a G7 group, that is G8, uh, before two years it was uh, only G8. Now, uh, Russia was uh, going out. That is why only right now G7, G7 countries. So, India is, a, is not a member of G7 countries. Is not a, in a member of, okay, NSC. NSC means nuclear supplier group. Supplier group. At the same time, India is not a, a member, you know, so UNSC. UNSC means so, United Nations Security Council. That means so, group 5. So, there are group 5 countries that means so, so veto power countries there are five countries are there so what are the five countries so uh, especially usa russia so uh, france uk and china these are the five countries they have uh, so veto power that is why we are not in the member of this uh, group five that is also called unsc united nations security council we are not a member in this uh, group not only that, we are not in a member of EPIC. EPIC means Asia, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperations. We are not in that. And at the same time, we are not in the OPIC also. OPIC. OPEC. That means Organization of Petroleum uh, Economic Cooperations. We are not in a member of OPIC nations also. Okay. At the same time, we are not a, so India is not a member member in the OIC. OIC means so, Organization of Islamic Cooperations. We are not in that. Okay. So, so this is the very important friends. This is the very important. At the same time, we are not in the member. India is not a member in IAEA. IAEA means so, International Atomic Energy. IAEC. IAEC. Is it? International Atomic Energy Corporations. We are not in that group. So this is the very important friends. At the same time, we are not in a member in ASEAN. Just now I discussed ASEAN, right? So ASEAN means Association of Southeast Southeast Asian Nations. We are not in the ASEAN countries, that uh, 10, 10 group grouped countries. Southeastern countries, right? We are not in that uh, group. Okay, now. So, this is the very important to remember. At the same time, India is a member. India is a member in some international organizations. So, namely, even United Nations organization. We are in the member. We are, India is, in a, is a member in a, so United Nations organization. United Nations organizations. At the same time, so India is, is a member in a group 20 group 20 what is the group 20 so 
this also economic point of view developing countries developed and developing countries that is a very important so we are in the well, india is also member in the g20 g20 group okay at the same we are so india is a, is a member in the uno even at the same time so india is also member in the mtcm missile technology control regime missile technology control regime so india is a is a member mtcm but china is not there china is not there but india is there so especially uh, so so four years back obama the then president of uh, us he joined india in this group mtcm group missile technology controlism so what is this uh, mtcm we will discuss right now oh, next later next next class we will discuss right now okay na next class we will discuss uh, mtcm briefly so that is the very important okay that means we can buy missile from other countries at the same time we can sell missiles to other countries also so especially you know by this uh, mtcr group we sold missiles to uh, recently vietnam that promos missiles promos very danger missiles in the world okay supersonic missiles they are so that we sold that missile to vietnam by this mtcr mtcr that is the advantage to india but china is not there remember friends china is not a member in this mtcr group so at the same time we are in the, the india is a member in the australian group australia group australia group so what is the australia group it is that means by this uh, this group we can export arms whatever the arms we have we can export to other countries also whatever the arms other countries have they can uh, sell to india that is possible two way possible so that is the australian group so we are also member in this group but china is not in that group china is not a uh, member in that group okay so vesner so vesner arrangement so india is also member in the vesner arrangement group so but china is not that so that is the advantage for this is also uh, so we can export to our arms to other countries that is a very big advantage to india so that means india is a member in uno india is a member in mtcr india is a member in australia australia group india is a member in this vesner uh, uh, arrangement group okay so so this is india is a member in the sco shanghai cooperation organizations that is the very important friends so this is the uh, what are, what are the relations relations between the uh, among the nations at the same time what is the india with the other countries relationship so that what we discuss right now okay so tomorrow we will discuss very lengthily that means we will so i will take one content and at the same time i can discuss that is the content by content we can discuss tomorrow okay so that is very important okay very important friends okay na Uh, this international relation very very important in prelims point of view at the same time mains mains point of view and the inter inter in interview also some questions.